Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Russian. And as you will notice, today we're going to be talking about entertainment, mainly movies. And some of you may be wondering, why am I cutting that way? Well, it's because never in my life I've seen, you know, Hollywood movies doing anything different. So let's take a look today in everything that happened this year in the entertainment and the movie industry. This is your boy Russian and this is BND. What's up guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the sketch. Uh, but now serious, 2020 has been a really rough year for Hollywood in many ways. From the hashtag cancel movement to movies getting delayed for over a year uh, and everything else. It's been rough. And that's what we're going to be talking today. All right. So the first thing I would like to attack, right? And it has to do with the hashtag cancel. Um, we saw that with Le Letitia Wright and Gina Carano being attacked by fans or maybe not their fans. And the whole thing is, they were attacked by having their own opinions. Now, I'm definitely not an anti-vax, and as long as you're not actually, you know, threatening your own kids by acting like this, I'm okay with your opinion. Now, Letitia, or Letitia, I, I really, I'm sorry if I'm butchering her name, but, so her statement was more of a question than a statement. Uh, and she was questioning about if that was good for people to get vaccines or not. Now, look, I don't have to agree with her, okay? But I don't feel she's causing anybody harm by asking a question. And now people start with the whole cancel, okay? To the point where she may have had a chance of a spinoff on Black Panther and she's not getting it. It's just being pretty much being pushed away right now because of that. We saw the same thing with Gina Carano. Uh, I get it. Some people felt offended about some of her statements, but I do feel a lot of people blew things a little bit out of proportion to the point that Disney pretty much said, hey, Gina, if you want your spin-off series, you need to go and apologize. And you know what? I'll give respect to her. She decided to stay with her own guts and kept what she said, didn't apologize. I really don't think she was there to offend anybody. Um, I think she's more like me. I hate people that just get offended for no reason. And you know what? A lot of people love her for that right now. So you know what? I think a lot of that has to do with, uh, you know, old saying, idle hands, the devil's playground. That's what is happening. People are bored. People don't know what to do. Life is hell right now, uncertainty and all that stuff. And people are pretty much trying to throw the blame on everybody else. So I hope for next year we stop doing that stuff and concentrate and make life better instead of uh, causing heartaches to other people. All right. Now in another news. So... This year was also very hard for the industry when we look at all the big names we actually lost this year alone. To start, we lost uh, Chadwick Boseman, we lost Ian Holmes, and we lost Sean Connery. Now, people may have different opinions about some of those guys as people, but what I have to say is those are people that in a lot of ways changed the industry. Um, Ian Holmes, for example, was someone that I really hated him until he became Bilbo Baggins. And if you guys are wondering why I hated him, you probably haven't seen him as the android in Alien. He was horrible. He was someone that you really wanted to hate until you actually analyzed the whole reason why he was going to kill everybody and stop the ship to bring the aliens to Earth, you know. But hey, Androids, man. Gotta be careful with that. But still, 
big losses. Um, yesterday, I actually watched a video about every single actor and actress we actually lost this year alone. And uh, no, most people did not die because of the virus. Uh, we did lose a lot of people for that. But they're not mainly for that. A lot of people was age, Shadwick, uh, was cancer. Uh, you know, things happen. It just last year was really, really heavy on that. And I'll say, those are people that help me and you and others to dream about different worlds, different things. You know, look at life in a different perspective. And in my opinion, they will really be missed. All right, in other other news. So, movies gonna change. And I even believe the Oscars gonna change as well. Um, so, up to now, Oscars have been pretty much set where your movie can only be mentioned to the Oscars if it's released on theaters. What caused a lot of great movies that came out in places like Netflix and everything not to be allowed to run for the Oscars. But now we have something changing. So we have Disney, we have Warner Brothers, and some of those other companies starting to release their movies from now on only on streaming platforms. Now, we need to look at those are companies that pretty much run Hollywood in a lot of ways. And do you think the Oscars going to actually just say, no, you're not allowed to send your movies to it? So it is a big change. Um, I don't believe all move theaters going to end. No, it's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is things are going to change. And the most when people start getting used to watch more things at home and realize that even if they have to pay a fee to see a new release, let me say 40 bucks, if you bring a date or watch with your family a movie, I guarantee you two people, you're inching very close to $100 every time you go to the movie theater. Now, if you have kids... Man, that's horrible. And that's the thing. People are going to start getting used to that because everything that is going on with the world and tomorrow to go back on the mindset that you have to go to a movie theater to watch a movie. It just going to end. It's not going to be the same. I mean, sure, if there is a Marvel movie coming out or some major sci-fi flick, yes, i probably going to want to watch in the movie theater. But... I believe from now on it's going to be more of an option than I have to. It's going to be more a whole deal where, you know, we're going to the move theater. Not as, hey, we go to the move theater at least twice a month or every week in the weekend I bring the kids to the move theater. No, that's going to be like an event for people. And depending on how things go. I could even see some drive-ins going back because honestly, I used to have a drive-in when I was in the military, not really far from base, and it was great. I would pull my truck, open the back, have a few sodas, have my own snacks, and I was set. And you know, it's actually pretty good. And the most if you have a family, you're doing a picnic and watching a movie. And you know what? If we have to keep separation like it is right now, it's probably the best way. I mean, the cars won't be parked really close together anyway, so you got a chance to enjoy more. If you guys still have drive-ins close to home, I would say, go there. It's an awesome experience. Just hope it's not raining. And I'm still talking about movies. Uh, this year for movies, I am trying to say that wasn't horrible and we had some good movies. And yes, I, I, I do can think about a couple of good movies that actually came out. Um, if you guys haven't watched Love and Monsters, do it. Just do it. It's, it's a great movie. Um, but for the most part, it was really bad. 
And most because most big companies, uh, with hopes that things are going to go back to normal, they just kept pushing their movies to the right. Now, sure, some other movies had other issues, like they had delays in production, um, they had people getting sick, and a lot of productions got closed for that reason. Uh, we had that on the series Flash from WB, and that's, that, that's something that we need to keep in mind. Um, a week ago, not even, a few days ago, we had the whole issue with Tom Cruise. Um, they had the audio, some were recorded, posted, and I feel that was kind of to bring him down. But I think what I'm actually glad a lot of people realized was everything he was saying wasn't exactly for him. Um, a lot of productions being closed because people getting the virus. Uh, insurance companies are really having making sure people are doing the right thing. And if they're not, they'll just pull the insurance and guess what? You can't make a movie with a big actor without insurance. So what does that mean? A lot of people would be out of work. So yes, his rant sounded like was way too much, a couple of levels above what it should be, but we do not know the context. Uh, this could be not an isolated issue. It may be something that he's dealing every single day. We saw even on part of the audio, him talking about every single night he's with insurance companies, product, producing, all that stuff. So I think it's been really hard to keep those, those people employed. Um, for him, honestly, I don't think he needs that much. He could pretty much sit for a year and not care. But a lot of people lose their jobs in the movie industry. Uh, we always look at movie industry as actors cameraman, those type of stuff, but we also have a lot of people that get involved behind the scenes on distribution, uh, advertisement, all that stuff, and those people around the world are also losing their jobs. So I don't think he did the wrong thing. Um, so yeah, he got support to a lot of people on that. Now, as I said, a lot of series have been pushed to the right. A lot of people are still learning to work from home, even if that's on editing uh, and things like this, post-production stuff, you know, it is hard. We kind of always got used to pretty much do work and look over our shoulder to our buddy that is working the next part, discussing this way, and we're kind of learning to do things in a different way. But hey guys, at the bright side. There's a lot of movies coming out next year. I pretty much believe that 2021 is going to be the year with most movies since we start making movies on early 1900s. So it may be a good year for the industry. It may be a good year for us to finally, as soon as the dust settles, go back out, see our friends, laugh a little bit, dream that life gonna just be better so yeah i'm looking forward and you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i know i didn't talk particularly about a movie or two i just want to take a look at the industry in 2020 and what may be to come like I said, I do believe that Oscar's gonna change. Maybe streaming movies that went to stream gonna actually be able to try for the Oscars, what I think is a great thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys like, please hit me a like, um, subscribe for the channel, hit the notifications button, all that cool stuff. Leave me a comment, let me know what movies you would like me to talk about next year. Remember, I talk about bad movies, not exactly they're bad, and I also don't talk about movies that are so bad that, it's good, that they're good. I talk about movies that we forget that they exist a lot of times, you know, or maybe they happen and they had a lot of big release at the same time and people, really, that thing came out? When? I didn't see it. Well, you know what I mean. So. I hope you guys have a great day, a great night, 
I hope you guys have a great year, great holidays, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days talking about video games on 2020. Yeah, I know, right? That's going to be crazy. A lot to talk about. But anyway, guys, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed. And have a good day.